53 million years ago. It was so warm here that the shores were filled with palm trees and the air temperature rose above 20 degrees Celsius. And just recently, the temperature dropped to minus 89.2 degrees Celsius in this place. It is the fifth largest continent in the world. 99% of the mainland is covered with ice, which is on average three kilometers thick. It stores about 80% of all freshwater reserves on the planet. And you are not allowed to be here if you haven't removed your wisdom teeth or appendix. This is Antarctica. The surface of its mainland is well studied, but as always, the most interesting stuff is hidden deep inside. Well, it's time to find out what lies under those thick layers of ice. Is there life there? And does it resemble ours? What was found under Antarctica? Please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. It was Russian scientist Peter Kropotkin who proposed the existence of fresh water under the glaciers of Antarctica at the end of the 19th century. He argued that the tremendous pressure exerted by the combined mass of thousands of square meters of ice could reduce the melting threshold in the lowest parts of the glacier to the point where the ice turns into liquid water. And soon, such places were really found. As of 2021, about 400 such lakes have been identified. One of these lakes is of great interest to scientists. The reservoir is about half a million years old. It's a real treasure trove of knowledge about the world and possibly prehistoric life forms. Meet the Lake Vostok. The existence of a lake under the Russian Vostok station was proposed in 1966 based on satellite images, which showed that a reservoir could be located under four kilometers of ice. Only in 1996, this information was confirmed and the boundaries of the lake were established, combining various data. Lake Vostok is 250 kilometers long, 50 kilometers wide, and spans across 12,500 square kilometers, which is approximately equal to the area of Sydney. According to various estimates, its depth ranges from 600 to 1,200 meters. This is slightly less than in the deepest Lake Baikal. In terms of volume, Lake Vostok occupies the fifth place on our planet. That is a gigantic reservoir which is one of the five largest lakes on the planet, is buried under 4,000 meter thick ice. Can you imagine that? And this is hidden from our eyes. In terms of altitude, it is located 500 meters below sea level, which makes it one of the lowest lakes on planet Earth. It seems that the water in the lake was conserved and remained untouched for 15 to 25 million years. In fact, it's so ancient that it emerged ages before the Homo sapiens. The average water temperature of the lake is minus three degrees Celsius. One might wonder, why doesn't the lake freeze? This happens because the adjacent layer of ice exerts high pressure on top and the lake's bed is heated by geothermal heat from the Earth's core. The environment of Lake Vostok is saturated with nitrogen and oxygen. It is believed that the huge mass of continental ice, which creates a pressure of about 350 atmospheres, contributes to a high concentration of nitrogen and oxygen, which is 50 times higher than in ordinary freshwater lakes. Keep in mind that car wheels have a pressure of only two atmospheres. The lake's tremendous pressure poses an extreme challenge for survival. But what hides inside the lake? To find it out, scientists started to drill a well in 1989. In 1998, researchers working at Vostok Station dug one of the longest ice cores in the world. A joint team from Russia, 
France and America drilled and analyzed a 3,623 meter long ice core. The age of ice samples from cores drilled near the surface of the lake is estimated at 420,000 years. However, drilling was deliberately stopped at about 100 meters above the estimated boundary between the ice sheet and the lake's waters. This was done to prevent pollution of the lake from freon and kerosene, which kept the well from freezing. In November 2010, Scientists presented the final environmental assessment of the project to the Environmental Protection Committee for the Antarctic Treaty, and they were given the green light to go ahead and sample the ancient waters. In 2011, drilling was resumed. In February 2012, Valery Lukin, the head of the Russian expedition to Antarctica, said that his team had only 50 meters left to drill to the surface of Lake Vostok. Then the thermal drill sensor detected liquid water. At this point, scientists stopped the drill and pulled it out of the hole. Removing the drill lowered the pressure beneath, pulling water into the well. The researchers allowed the lake's waters to freeze in a core and a few months later, took samples of this newly formed ice and sent it to a laboratory. But what did they find there? Before 1998, a team led by Scott Rogers from Bowling Green University in Ohio had discovered 3,507 unique gene sequences from ice samples taken about 170 meters above the surface of Lake Vostok. But this find was highly questioned by the scientific community. Sergei Bulat, a microbiologist at the St. Petersburg Institute of Nuclear Physics, believes that this is nothing more than contamination because his group examined the same set of samples and established that it was contaminated. Eski Willerslev, one of the world's most renowned ancient DNA specialists, is also critical of this find. He finds it suspicious that cultures that have been isolated for millions of years would be identical or almost identical to the known microbial sequences found outside the lake. This indicates that at least some of the sequences obtained are the result of contamination. Still, some of the discoveries have been confirmed. The first discovery was made in 2004 when an extremophile was found at a depth of 3,607 meters. These organisms use inorganic substances as the source of energy. Such bacteria are able to survive in extreme conditions. Keep in mind that they were found under 3,607 meters of ice. To put this in perspective, this is the equivalent to three Burj Khalifas stacked on top of each other which coincidentally is the tallest building in the world. As studies have shown, these creatures live comfortably at temperatures of about minus 50 degrees Celsius. Presumably, they were originally found in warm reservoirs at the bottom of the lake. But that's not all. In 2014, Sergei Bulat announced the discovery of an absolutely unknown bacterium which was named W123-10. It has already been found on the drill bit containing water from Lake Vostok. Sergei wrote a scientific paper on this and published it in the PubMed magazine. The most interesting thing is that the bacterium's only 86% genetically similar to all living things known to modern science. This is extremely low and proves that this bacterium has evolved separately from the outside world for millions of years. W123-10 might after all be the only basis for the hypothesis that we weren't always alone in the universe. Lake Vostok may have an environment that has been isolated by ice over millions of years. Theoretically, it might have similar conditions to those in the ice-covered oceans on Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus. We can find something similar there too. Although Lake Vostok's size and mysteriousness are very intriguing, common sense dictates that we should start exploring more accessible bodies of water. 
so scientists focused on Lake Willans instead. Lake Willans is nothing like other lakes. The weight of the ice forces the water to rise under the glacier, causing the lake to sit on the side of a hill. This thin, two-meter-deep layer of water, which covers almost 60 square kilometers, is held in a pocket of low pressure created by the ice sheet. On January 27, 2013, scientists broke through the ice cover and reached the lake. Water under high pressure entered the well and filled its lower part by 30 meters. A day later, the first samples were taken from the lake and a camera was sent deep into the lake to take some pictures. It turned out that many different types of bacteria live here. The waters of the lake lie about 800 meters below the ice surface, so they are completely devoid of sunlight. The microorganisms that live there are chemoautotrophic bacteria that receive energy as a result of chemical reactions with inorganic compounds. They produce food using the energy from reduction of iron, sulfur, and nitrogen compounds in the lake, just like plants and algae on the surface of the Earth that produce food using solar energy. This was the first successful extraction of such high-quality specimens from an Antarctic subglacial lake. In 2019, researchers drilled another subglacial reservoir called Mercer Lake which is 600 kilometers away from the South Pole. A core of a length of 1,067 meters was drilled to collect samples from Mercer Subglacial Lake. It's at this depth that the lake lies under the ice. Moreover, Subglacial Antarctic Lake Scientific Access scientists have collected dirt samples from the bottom of the reservoir. The expedition members placed the dirt under the microscope lens and discovered some elongated structures resembling parts of mushrooms or plants. In addition to these threads, the scientists saw the remains of tardigrades and crustacean exoskeletons. This was quite surprising because no one expected to see anyone more complex than single-celled organisms. If there was nothing strange in the bacteria that feed on the remains of diatoms, then the discovery of tardigrades and fragments of mushrooms took scientists by surprise. It's yet to be determined whether such organisms live in these environments or have been brought there from another place, for example, by moving ice. However, if these were local organisms, this would mean that the scale of life developing under the Antarctic ice is greater than we thought, and this lays the potential for further research. What other extreme places on our planet can harbor life in your opinion? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.